So we have Dr. Shashi Prakash and he is uh, practicing in Patna and we are going to be talking to him about OAB. Yes. All right. So uh, according to you sir, what is an OAB if, a, uh, if there is a patient and who doesn't know what is an OAB, what would be the definition for them? Actually uh, OAB is a uh, symptom complex Okay. and the uh, main component of OAB is urgency hmm. in which patients uh, uh, want to uh, go to a uh, toilet or bathroom mm -hmm. in a hurry. Mm -hmm. uh, he or she didn't control. That's an okay. OAB. That's an OAB. Well, how does it impact the quality of a life of a patient? Well, the, the impact of OAB on lifestyle is very poor. Uh, people hesitate to uh, go anywhere in uh, social circles mm -hmm. because uh, he, every time and uh, when he want to go to a bathroom or uh, a toilet, he, he or she didn't know. So he hesitated to go to uh, social platforms. Happens. Well, uh, what, why do you think uh, that the patients with overactive bladder or delay their visit to the healthcare specialist to get their condition checked out? Is it the reason uh, why the, these people uh, do it? Because they think that it's not a significant problem to be diagnosed? Is there any possibilities? Yes, uh, uh, in older ages, yeah. sometimes people think about that, uh, that's a usual phenomena, uh -huh. I am old enough, uh, so that's no, why some problems happen. appear in there. And the second part is, there is a lack of awareness hmm. in our part, in Bihar and uh, yes. in uh, rural areas, there is lack of awareness, uh, in, especially in female patients. Hmm. They hesitate to uh, reveal these things about uh, his day-to-day uh, -day huh. activity. Yeah, that's the reason actually. What are the cons of the delayed uh, diagnosis if a patient is coming very late? So what could be the consequences of that? Uh, actually, the uh, a specialist urologist uh, uh, can uh, easily f find these things. Okay. So uh, there is not uh, there is a lack of availability of uh, super specialist at each and every center. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have to delay in your uh, diagnosis, that it must uh, must be it affect your upper tracts, your kidney, your bladder. All right. What does the role of behavioral therapy can help uh, the patient? Behavioral therapy is must. Behavioral therapy and counsel. First part is the uh, diagnosis, mm -hmm. then uh, the counseling of patients about mm -hmm. his dr drinking habits. Yes. Sometimes only drinking habits is responsible for OAB. Sometimes uh, uh, related uh, complications, uh, related uh, constipations. So behavioral therapy is must. Do we need to restrict the water intake in order to prevent this sort of problem? No, no, no. We have uh, mainly resisted on the bladder diary. Okay. How much he or she drink, how much he, uh, she or he uh, took the uh, beverages okay. like tea and coffee. Huh. So we have to restrict them on that. Caffeine, and, uh, tea, yeah, coffee, yeah, yeah, alcohol, yeah. these sort of things. Okay, what would be your advice in order uh, to help or in order to, um, uh, uh, what we call, uh, coordinate with the people who are trying to lead a normal life after the OAB recovery? Uh, if you want to... Uh, in order to uh, like uh, ignore it for future purpose, I mean... Uh, in order to avoid the recurrent problem, what uh, if you want to uh, avoid the recurrent uh, uh, problem, yeah. you must have to restrict your behavioral therapy yes. and you must have in touch with your physician. In touch with your physician. If you find yourself again in the problem, you uh, go to the specialist yes. as soon yes, as possible. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. It was very amazing talking to you. Have a great, great, great time.